at this point in time, more than ever, it's really important that people of faith are able to come together and do things together. Um, at St John's in Fremantle, we're delighted to be able to exhibit just four of Tusuf Ahmad's um, works of art. He's a paper cutting artist, and in fact, here he is to tell you some more about what we've got here. This is uh, Hijrat. This uh, Hijrat is um, the time of uh, Pro Prophet Muhammad when he moved from Makkah to Medina. So this is the time when uh, he was in Makkah and there was a key that represents the um, Khana Kaaba was locked. And, and then in the night time, uh, it, it was a fear of death and they moved from um, Macau on this same path, the original path, and they reached to the Medina. And then all the flowers and welcome was given to Prophet Muhammad. So this is the story of Hij uh, Hijrat. Um, this is um, Su uh, Surah Qadr. Surah Qadr uh, represents that how the Quran was came in that night from one place to another place. So this is the night is uh, hair till the morning. So this means this is all the butterfly uh, representing angels and the down here representing the morning time and this is the world in, in, in that night time. So and this art piece is uh, uh, named as a Kiswa Kaaba. This Kiswa Kaaba is a curtain uh, in front of the uh, door of Kaaba. And uh, this is a single piece of uh, single piece of gold paper with, which is cut it very delicately and uh, finish this art piece. Uh, this is uh, Alhamdulillah, um, the first chapter of Quran. They, they are Bismillah, Rahman, Rahim, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. So they, this is a pray. How we should pray? Pray. It is uh, designed in a very beautiful single piece. Uh, red color paper. So these are uh, the four art pieces uh, they, we, which, which are here, here is in uh, Ang uh, Anglican Church in Fremantle. So please visit and have a look. Thank you. So it might feel a bit strange to see an exhibition of Islamic art here in the context of an Anglican church in a Christian setting. We have Christian symbols and Christian art up alongside the Islamic artworks. We're not trying to compromise the integrity of either faith, that's not what this is about, but what this is about is showing that we can do things together that we have a shared history and a shared heritage and that we are all children of God. In fact, we come from the same tradition, the God that those people were praying to in mosques in Christchurch last week is the same God, the God of Abraham, the God of our ancestors that we pray to here on Sundays and throughout the week. To show Islamic artwork in the Christian context is a very powerful symbol of our unity and our togetherness as we look to a peaceful future. You can come down to St John's and see Tusif's artworks for yourself. We are open tomorrow, in fact tomorrow morning, Friday, we are having a silent vigil between 8.40am and 9.30am when the bell will be tolled and some candles will be lit in memory of those who were killed last week. Um, we're also having a lunchtime service at half past one on Friday the 22nd of March. Until next Wednesday, um, church is open and you can come in and have a look at Tusuf's artwork. Uh, we're open at eight o'clock in the morning till 5 p.m. on Saturday. You can come and see them after church on Sunday um, between midday and 5 p.m. And then Monday to Wednesday, church is open 10 a.m. till 3 p.m. There'll be someone here to show you around and to um, 
uh, guide you. You're also welcome to come into St John's on Sunday morning, that's the 24th, um, and Tusuf will be uh, talking to us after our morning service. So at 11 o'clock we're having a, a meet the artist um, time, so Tusuf will be speaking with us then. So that's Sunday morning at 11 a.m. <laughs>